Okay. Now, okay. Nathan, you yeah. have two options here. Mm-hmm. You can draw the sexy form or the unsexy form. <laughs> well, it's a it's a twin. So <laughs> choose I'm, your path. So it's got two heads. Yeah, yeah. Sure. It's twin Definitely. rovers. It's mm-hmm. twin rovers. So there's a sexy rover and a not sexy rover. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Not sexy rover is just like a regular dog. Right. Oh my God. Nathan, you've painted yourself into the most beautiful corner. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live in this corner. <laughs> so I think Twin Rova only appears in one game. Uh, well, no, they're they're in, they're in Ocarina of, of Time. No, they're in they're in Majora's Mask as well. Yeah, not but not though. as as. Oh no, yeah, they work at a tourist shop. Not as Twin Rova. <laughs> but they're they're there and they're still twins and they're yeah. still witches. Okay, that's true. Okay, so they're witch dogs. Well, oh, I gave something we away. said too much. Okay. Said too, said much. too much. So they've got, okay. But so. this can only make it better. That's <laughs> true. So it's got, uh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's like Cerberus uh, from, from Myth and Legend, mm-hmm. but with two heads and also witches and also one is sexy and one isn't. Okay, so there's, you know, there's sexy, so this is the not sexy dog. Right. I don't okay. know. I mean, it's a pretty basic pooch. It's a pretty basic mm-hmm. pooch. I guess, yeah. By comparison, I'm sure the other one is is going to be very sexy. And then I've I've got to draw. I've just got to draw the sexiest dog now. You should do uh-huh. that, Nathan. You should do that that artist technique where you just draw a human woman, but then you give her a brown nose. <laughs> okay. Well, it it could be it could be a sexy man too. I That's mean, true. I, I am the Julia of this episode. That's mm-hmm. true. true. So I should I should probably draw a handsome, sexy man. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Regardless of gender, it should it should just be a, a beautiful human with one uh, brown dot where its nose is, and that's okay. how you know that it's a <laughs> that it's a dog. And dog ears. You know, usually <laughs> right. we try to play these memory episodes as mm-hmm. like kind of close, a little bit further, and then very far away. I don't right. think we started anywhere close <laughs> at all during this episode. <laughs> yeah, this one was really scattershot. It's weird because we all got close in our own way, but we were all very far from the truth. Oh, the boy. person who could have been the anchor for this episode is the one that's hosting it, <laughs> is what I've just learned. This is a fun twist. Zelda games are like my jam. This guy's like, hey, would you say to my brother? <laughs> <laughs> but is um is this still a dog, Nathan? Yeah, this is okay. a dog. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I just wanted to clarify. Bark bark. You can't tell Julia that it's a dog? Uh I'm at a weird <laughs> angle. <laughs> yeah, it's so sad when you go to adoption events and you see the dogs uh, that look like this and, like, nobody's adopting them because they're too beautiful. Yeah. People, they're intimidating. Yeah. Yeah, they're intimidatingly beautiful. They That's why they made that Sarah McLaughlin uh, video where she tells people that you need to adopt beautiful dogs, too. <laughs> Not just the uggos, not just the dumb ones. I, I'm just picturing a commercial where it's this dog's face kind of slowly zooming in towards camera as in the arms of an angel plays. <laughs> in, the in the arms of an angel. And he's like, he's just working out. <laughs> he's bench pressing. <laughs> Glistening with sweat. <laughs> bark, bark. Bark, bark. Hey, Hi. Hey Mark, I'm hungry. <laughs> Do you have any protein powder, Mark? <laughs> Thank you for adopting me. <laughs> this is Just think about every television show that's ever had a dog in it, but it's this dog. <laughs> it's just it's just full house, and this is what Comet looks like. And that's the show. Rut rut row, Shaggy. I think it was old man Jenkins the whole time. Shaggy, what if we ate a big sandwich? Shaggy, can we have some pizza? <laughs> I need to carbo load Shaggy. Shaggy, <laughs> I have not done my P90X today. <laughs> Shaggy. Shaggy, I'm trying to get sick gains over here. I need to eat four <laughs> times a day, my man. You gotta lay off the weed, my dude. I'm worried about you. Stop hanging out with Bongo Bongo. Shaggy, <laughs> I'm worried about you, but also I have to piss. Please take me outside. <laughs> Take me to the good bush, the one I like. <laughs> you know the one. Oh. Shaggy, I love this kibble. <laughs> Can you put it in a shake, though? Oh, I forgot that they are one body. They are one. They are one uh, being. 
uh -huh. is is my understanding. Uh -huh. <laughs> so let me just uh, let me just make that this part's right. Let me just mm -hmm. make this body uh, real quick. Uh huh. I'm excited to see how you figure this out. <laughs> is that their is that their theme music? Yeah, that's their theme music. Yes. How do you think Link defeats Twin Rover, Nathan? I think it Link. There there are two options. It can mm. either go the sexy route or the not or the dog route. Okay. So Link can either try and uh, seduce the sexy head, right. or just like play fetch with the not sexy head. Yeah, you get a big ball. That's mm. one of your items in the game. <laughs> it would be though. Uh huh. I mean, you got like a spin top in Twilight Princess. You could yeah. just get a ball. Actually, you do get a ball in Twilight Princess. You just get a big mace chain. Oh yeah, yeah. like a morning right. I star. I forgot about that. Yeah. Nathan, are you cat dogging this? I am. Yeah. Are you cat dogging this thing? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like something out of Odd World: Abe's Odyssey, a game I've never played. Well, this is pretty much it. Yeah, I think I think I got it, guys. I think you nailed it. Link, please scratch my tummy. <laughs> bark, bark. <laughs> Time for walkies. <laughs> oh, I love no. him too much. Are those veins? Yeah. No. Oh. Nathaniel. You didn't have to. <laughs> I did. I needed you, you it. You did it. Do you think you could throw a Deku stick and it would chase it? Yeah, for sure. Like you could throw a Deku stick off a cliff and it would just go off yeah well the one the one half would that's why the other half is so strong is mm -hmm. because it it had to learn to to battle against like the primal dog strength <laughs> in order, his idiot brother yeah <laughs> he's also the only one with an arm yeah he's got one arm i think that's the tail yeah this is its tail <laughs> it's its arm it's a modified arm tail they what sort of magic do they do though i don't think that <laughs> uh do dog magic conjure treats yeah, you conjure treats. Um, you're able to, you're able to eat poop without it affecting your constitution. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, another arm. Oh, it's got a little wand. It's got a little magic wand for there dog magic. Cool. I, yeah. It's, it's so small. <laughs> How are you gonna cast a spell with an arm that small? I feel like Strong Rover is probably, probably pretty upset at a Basic Rover for not working out because like. They have to go to the gym at the same time. Yeah, and it's like you could. I mean, you could do cardio. You don't have and to he's lift. Like, he's like, no, nah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sniff our collective crotch. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's cat dog rules, baby. Nobody knows. I've got to stop drawing the sexy dog. Yeah, because do never, you want to see will, what will Twin Rover keep, looks like? I will just keep drawing it. God, so, yeah. I, I mean, I know it. It looks like this. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is. <laughs> This is Twin Rover. Don't sh yeah, don't show him because like they this is what they wanted to do in the game. They got yeah. shut down. S&P shut him down. They wouldn't let him they would not let Nintendo do this. This was Shigeru Miyamoto's original design. Yeah. <laughs> he saw one of these in his backyard and it inspired him. <laughs> when I was but a young boy, I would go into the forest and collect beetles and fight giant dog giant buff dog monsters. <laughs> <laughs> and that is what inspired the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> this is what his childhood dog looked like. Uh, what's important here is is head for butting and yeah. eyes for making eye contact. Right. We're going to need both of those. Are you drawing Texas? I'm drawing the state of Texas. <laughs> Most Pokemon have a head and eyes, so that's a really good, bold starting point you have. I imagine it's like kind of like a forehead plate uh, okay. sort of design here. Yeah, so like this is going to be like its nose down here because I'm going to make it like an animal. Oh, that's fun. And then eyes. Uh, like here's one. No. Mm -hmm. okay. That's a whole eyeball? And here's one. Oh. You've drawn a DBZ enemy. I, it kind of is. Here's the deal about these eyeballs. <laughs> Jacob, is this I is very like, good. <laughs> I feel like he would... <laughs> Pop those eyeballs the first time you headbutt someone. <laughs> but he's he's really looking to make eye contact. Yeah, I you can't help really, but look at them. Really wants to make eye contact for the headbutt. Yeah, these things are like peering around right. like antenna, this looking is, for the next headbutt. This is bringing back some traumatic childhood memories for me. I had a fish that had bubbles on either side of its eyes. It was part of the species of the fish oh, in no. the aquarium. We called it Popeye. Its name was Prophetic. Because our other giant goldfish, named Sir Puffington, ate one of his eyes and popped it. And uh, Popeye died soon after. Oh 
my god! Oh my god! And dude. so this is bringing back these That's... bulging sacks uh, on the what side if I make of it this. Look like they're really popping out of there. Does that I... help? It. It does like, the opposite. So, so I guess you have to make this a fish now. Is that or or what you have to do is draw a second one of these dudes who looks like he's just gonna do a chomp on one of these eyeballs. I'm worried about this Pokemon. <laughs> um, can I get another description so uh, I can like figure yeah, out where yeah, to go yeah. from here? Its skin has a rubbery elasticity, so it can reduce damage by defensively pulling its skin up to its neck. So his no, neck is like can't. a Sockum <laughs> robot arm. <laughs> He has a okay. spring-loaded head. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. Okay. Whatever you think. Skin. If this is what we have to what we have to do. So this is like stretching. It's going to be grabbing this skin. Oh. Uh, with its claws. I can tell Nathan already knows what this is. He's been peeking. He's been screen peeking over here. Are you screen peeking, Nathan? <laughs> screen peeking? I didn't see. I had a. I had a guess in my mind, oh. but I don't know. Again, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cool. He has to. He has to pull it up with his hands. Yeah, that's. <laughs> oh, oh, there's just so much going on with this one. It's all hitting me at once. It's like it saw a bear in the woods and it's trying to expand its body yeah. as much as possible. <laughs> I'm increasing my defense. Oh. Just in a few lines, you really indicated just how loose this skin is. Yeah, he's pulling it right up there. Yeah, uh, the, the, the it's not it's not pleasant to look at, even okay, a little we're bit. Have to change this because it's, yeah, it's pulling the skin up, so mm -hmm. it's got its body has to be down here. That's the only thing that makes sense. So it's pulling its skin up, but then also just sort of running at you with its head lowered. <laughs> Just like, ah! Could you imagine? <laughs> just holding its skin falls up, running at you full speed. With its, its eyes bulging. It's entire. It's so vulnerable in so many spots. And then it's just the top of its head is the only defended area. And it immediately is trying to smash you with it. Yeah, straight away. You just have to dodge. You just have to do that, that sick anime move where you, where you slide out of the way and then appear behind them. I think, are there any more entries? I mean, there's, I've already gone so far. Its weight makes it uh, unstable. Its weight makes it unstable. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I'll, I'll, I can think of a few things that make it unstable yeah. <laughs> so far. Yeah, I think it's its tendency to want to headbutt. Yeah, like, mentally unstable. Yeah, classify <laughs> it as unstable. Mentally unstable. Let's get that foot out of the way for let's, a sec. Uh, so we kinda... Let's oh, work on a real that. sack now, huh? <laughs> Do we? Yeah. It's this real, it's real dumpy, little dumpy. It's, it's a real dumpy sack. <laughs> Uh, the Dumpy Sack Pokemon, Dumpy this Sack. This does look like more of a Pokemon than anything I drew, <laughs> including Mankey. <laughs> I guess it doesn't say that it's, like, fast. Jacob, no. where you drew the right eye and you drew, like, a fold in front of it, it looks like the head goes forward, but the eye stays back, like, in his shoulder, which yeah, is they very like... distressing to me. <laughs> I think right before he headbutts, they, like, suck in. Okay. They yeah. suck into their holes. Yeah. These are the. This is in uh, scouting mode. It has two different modes. Uh, it's looking for something to headbutt right now. If this is the one that I'm thinking of, you're not that far off. I'm a, I'm a little impressed to be honest with you. Yeah. This this is <laughs> this is pretty good. This is a good. It's a nice little scamp you've got here. A nice dumpy scamp. I like this dumpy scamp. I do think his Pokemon name is Dumpy Sack. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's got you got to change one letter in there. So maybe uh, Dampy Sack. Da dampy Sack. <laughs> Gross, dude. Dumpy Suck. <laughs> Maybe it's like dump a sack. Dump a sack, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dump a sack. Dump a sack. Okay, this is him. Um, uh, before you reveal the yeah, name of yeah. the Pokemon, can Please. I can I wager a guess? Yeah. Well, well, let's let Jacob guess. Okay. Do you have any idea, um, Jacob? I was kind of thinking maybe it's I don't remember its name, but it's one of like them dinosaur-y ones. Uh huh. Um, like the little the little T Rexy guy. Okay. That's what I'm thinking of. Is it Rampardos? Rampardos? No. It's not Rampardos. No. Wow. Then I don't know. Well, you would think that about one, the, that the, one looks like poke, it the poke with the baggy skin. The poke with the baggy skin? That's a scraggy. It's a scraggy? Scraggy, a scraggy. headbutts? Sc scraggy headbutts? Yep. <laughs> Listen. Oh, my God. That's right. He's got the pants. He's got the pants. I love scraggy. 
<laughs> but I didn't know he was so known for headbutting. Yeah, uh, yeah. I he doesn't have the strongest head by far no, of, he's got of a, Pokemon. He looks like what looks like a big soft one. Yeah, yeah, he's you know <laughs> what it, headbut it headbutts everything it sees. It's not, you know, working with a hundred percent all the time. Yeah, that's <laughs> it true. just it keeps making dumber and dumber decisions. <laughs> oh, I love Scraggy. You did you drew sort of a cross this between idiot. Scraggy and Rampardos. Yeah, I kinda and, did. And then also Texas. And also Texas. Mm -hmm. Don't mess with it. Don't. So the animal I wanted to do, which I don't think is necessarily an ugly animal, but some people find it kind of freaky, is the Tarshir. <laughs> oh, the big eye little big eye. They're like gremlin hand. monkeys. <laughs> it's a gremlin. <laughs> they kind of look like lemurs. Are they in the lemur family or the Maybe monkey family? I don't know. No, right. I just like them. They got big ol' eyes. Yeah, that's yeah. why I like them. It's little I, domes. I didn't know what these were until you brought them up earlier. <laughs> and they are really scary. They're scary in like that way that they are kind of cute somehow, but I don't want to interact yeah. with one. <laughs> I've interacted with one. Have you? Yeah. Really? I, I went to a, what do you call it? Like a reserve? Well, I was in the oh, a resort. Time. Not a, no. a Tarshir resort. <laughs> yeah, that's where they go to relax. They were all staying. They were in all a... in little robes. <laughs> in a tiny I'm... hotel. <laughs> I'm going to the hot springs now. <laughs> this is kind of the shape of an Animal Crossing. Yeah, this is actually a way more accurate Animal Crossing <laughs> shape than what I did. I forgot they don't like have hands and feet traditionally. Oh, but this guy has hands. Yeah, but in Animal Crossing. They usually just kind of, oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, no, he got hands. They have a big hand. Oh. It's one of their many qualities. One of their many fine qualities. <laughs> the oversized hands. I, if I still worked at Dorkly, I would really want like an Animal Crossing comic of just this dude helping you move into the town <laughs> and just like, hey, where do you want this box? And then just the zoom in on these horribly realistic hands on this box. Yeah, these knobby fingers. <laughs> Long, knobbly fingers. <laughs> and then your character just moves out of town immediately. Oh. I wish there was like a one in like a thousand chance if you booted up your version of Animal <laughs> Crossing that you would get a town that just had all of these <laughs> horrible animals Cursed in it. Cursed town. The cursed town, yeah. <laughs> Only like one person does it show up for. The Island of Rejected Animals. <laughs> and you have to just get a new copy of the game if that happens, because every time you boot it up, even if you try to reset the data, you'll always get the same cursed town. <laughs> this is like a creepy pasta. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but instead of finding, like, smile dog, it's just <laughs> Mel the Mole. <laughs> Mel the Mole uh, in this, this Tarshir with giant hands. <laughs> um, I can't forget the giant eyes. What's the... um? What's the secretary's name? Isabel. Isabel. I, Isabel still works in this horrible town, but she looks just so terrified and exhausted and worn down. She's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> She's locked herself in the mayor's office. Yeah. And you can only talk to her like Bloodborne style. You yeah, have to like, like knock on the window. door and you hear her like cackling in there. <laughs> cackling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she okay? <laughs> She's definitely not okay. Why their eyes got to go that big is my um, question. I, so, I don't know, so they can see. But there's lots <laughs> of animals in the jungle or whatever, and none of them have eyes that are this big. Are they like nighttime creatures? They are nocturnal, I believe. Then so they got come big all these, eyes to see in the night. All these yeah. pics is the daytime. Answer it's that, like science. It's like how the naked mole rat has little tiny eyes because it lives in the dark. It hates to see. Yeah, this one lives in the It forest. doesn't want to see its own It loves flesh. seeing. <laughs> this one loves seeing. <laughs> He's just excited to see just like everything you have to show him. <laughs> Until you show it the naked mole rat. Then it shrivels up like a naked mole rat's eyes. Yeah, because it's seen too much. No way, they're like best friends. <laughs> <laughs> this one's just like, come play with us. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you would wake up in the middle of the night in Animal Crossing and this one would be staring in your window. <laughs> come pick apples with us. <laughs> it's like, no thanks, I'm good. I'm just gonna <laughs> pick apples by myself, I think. Suit yourself. This is what Animal Crossing looks like, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the new one that you know that they're making, no one knows what it looks like yet. That's true. So we could be right on the money. These could be in the new one. These could be in the new one. I'm going to go ahead and confirm it. These are definitely <laughs> in the new one. 
look forward to it, all gamers out there. <laughs> Animal Crossing gamers unite. <laughs> you definitely made it cuter by going with the the giant pupil look, God, as opposed to the like girl. tiny pupil look that it sometimes has. <laughs> yeah, this is just like a little bear. Oh, I hate that he has toes as well. Yeah. He has to. I'm sorry. Fingers and toes. One of the only animals to have a full set of fingers and toes. <laughs> They're fully articulated. Yeah. <laughs> like while he's kind of bouncing around, his fingers are wiggling. wiggling. <laughs> toes are like individually wiggling on the ground. Yeah, everything's wiggling. <laughs> You've made an X-File a alien. <laughs> no, it's a <laughs> It's definitely not, is the thing. Uh, Do they have tails? Yeah. See, it's got a little there. Oh, it has like a little rat tail. Yeah, I think it just has like a little rat tail. Ugh. I feel like <laughs> this one, you would like, you'd come into the town and you'd be like, I don't know what animal that is. <laughs> hey, that one over there, what's it supposed to be? Isabel. <laughs> These are supposed to be identifiable, right? What is it? Please. <laughs> Please tell me. Um, he's wearing clothes. What should he be wearing? Tank top. Yeah. Tank top with a slogan on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was thinking like one of those tank tops that's like number one sports kid that's always in <laughs> Animal Crossing. <laughs> Just has like a soccer ball on it. Yeah. <laughs> It'll say, I love. <laughs> 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 no because he's it, like got big old eyes and it really wants to hug you but you don't want to be near it and he's wearing cut off all. shorts <laughs> <laughs> oh good tank top and cut offs <laughs> well hello friend would you yeah. like a hug he's he's nice i'm, I'm part of mean. the welcoming community <laughs> I'm sure he is nice, but he's the kind of nice where like you don't want him around you. Hey, I, I made I made you a casserole. Like a little eyebrow going. You've given me like seven there we go. in the past two days. You keep giving me casseroles. Why he just loves making cas casseroles. Stop being mean. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy, I got a new show I've been wanting to watch. You want you want to join me? I just met you. I made a casserole. <laughs> I made more casserole. Okay. You're going to die if you keep eating good. casseroles. It's the only thing I know how to make. <laughs> we got to name him. Yeah, what's his name? Something with a T. Tar. Travis. Tra <laughs> Travis. <laughs> Hi, my name's Travis. Travis. Travis the what? What? But <laughs> the good friend. Nope, that's not good enough for me, Travis. <laughs> I'm going to need more info, Travis. I got you a casserole. <laughs> Travis, stop. <laughs> I'm going to call that one dog that's the police. <laughs> <laughs> the crime dog? I'm going to call that crime dog. Okay. There's Travis. I love him. good friend. <laughs> sad daddy. Sad daddy. Sad daddy. Oh, no. sad daddy. Sad daddy. Poor he's, Papa. He's oh from Silent goodness. Hill Origins, which I think four people have played. Oh, is he the first Silent Hill? Sad he daddy? He's the daddy of the hill. He is the start of Wait, all of the hills. Was it King the of the Hills? The hills are alive with <laughs> the sounds of daddy. Is it Hank Hill, the saddest dad? It might be. What? How do we feel about this shape? It's a good <laughs> being. It's a good writhing intestinal oh, bean. Is this yeah. cool with you guys? Look do you like this, this? Look at this long bean. All right, so sad daddy. Sad daddy. <laughs> sad daddy. I mean, if I my don't... daddy was that long, I wouldn't be sad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what? What? Oh. <laughs> Excuse me? Huh? Justin, you gotta go. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye it was forever. It's nice to have you, Justin, but uh, I think you gotta go. Hey, guys, I'm back. Oh, thanks for coming back, Justin. Um, oh, look at that daddy. Oh, look at this. Much like the people in Silent Hill, you are trapped here. You cannot leave. So, <laughs> There's a lot bye. of fog. Something bit me. So, Julia, <laughs> I expect by the end of this episode to fully understand all of Silent Hill as a series. Yes. At all the lore. Okay. At, so. Well, they all have a different, like, theme or horror. Is it like, uh, is it like a Final Fantasy where each, where they, they have the same Silent Hill name, but they all have different characters? No. Well, they're all vaguely connected. Specifically, one and three are very directly connected, and I think two and four have some vague connection. It's kind of like the Jurassic Park movies. 
Yes. Mm. Well, like it's exactly like the Jurassic Park. Jeff Goldblum movies. keeps showing up. This is yeah. basically and a Jurassic Park episode. Jeff Goldblum is one sad daddy. I don't oh, know if yeah. you've seen. He's pretty the sad. Movies. He is a sad dad he's in the a... in the second one. I mean, technically, the first one too. He's just a big old sad daddy. Yeah. Well, he's a sexy daddy. He's well, a sexy well, daddy the first in the first one. That ain't no. It. You don't get sad when you see that daddy. I tell you what. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm excited. Is that a mouth? Is he, that an eye? Is that a nose? We don't he, know yet. He's got his feet fused with sandals. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, yeah, in okay. The, in the oh, Silent great. Hill sort perfect, of world. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, um, he's also going to have like another leg because of the way I made his posture, he wouldn't be able to stand this way. He's just got really good no, knee strength. Sense. So he's got he's got like a kickstand leg. He's got a kickstand leg. Back what here. A, would you like some info on Sad Daddy? No. <laughs> I'd Fair. like I'd like some info. I want to know why he's so sad. Yeah, what makes well, this daddy so saddy? So again, I haven't played Silent Hill Origins because I heard that it's very bad and also it like retcons a lot of the things that I actually like about the series. It's mm. major trash. It's just major trash. Oh boy, um, we're gonna get some people who really like it oh in the man. comments. No one likes it. Get some angry daddies. I can assure you that no one likes it. Basically, he's the main character's dad. The main character of Origins' is dad. Yes, who okay. appears in no other game. His name is Travis. Mm -hmm. uh, Travis. It's, it's Travis's dad. It's like a manifestation of Travis's dad because Travis's dad was a sad dad. Go figure. Mm -hmm. Was he a bad dad too? I don't know. Or was, was he just really sad and Travis was like, God, my pathetic dad. I think Travis was not nice to his dad. My dad sucks. He's such a sad sack. Oh, that's why he's so sad. And so then he tries to kill him with sadness. So Travis's dad uh, <laughs> does kill himself. Oh. oh. So this oh. is the manifestation of uh, in, in... Travis's feelings about his dad. Is that Don't worry. A, is that he's a beaver? He doesn't. He's got. Yeah. Is, is his dad very naked mole rat esque? I'm hoping you're getting to that part because that's kind of the angle I, mean, I it's, took. It's honestly, it's not far off. Hey, nice. Okay. <laughs> it really isn't that far off. Basically, with the rule with Silent Hill monsters is that. You take a thing, which is either you very take... sad or very depressing, <laughs> and you just make it a sack of flesh. You take the good, you take the bad. You make it a sack of you flesh. You take them both, and there you have a Silent Hill monster. There yeah. There you go. Not loving what's happening with the eyeballs. <laughs> Not a fan. Oh, you you little, don't like this. The little, a mm, the don't little like aim amuses. You don't like don't the little like, amuses? Don't, <laughs> not, mm, don't like it. What's going Ew. on with his other arm? I haven't figured that out yet. Okay. I'm doing it. See, I think like this, in the spirit of this episode, I have to do things in the Julia style. Yes, mm -hmm. just wing it. Uh, which is to say that I'm not thinking about anything I'm doing before yeah. I'm doing it. And yeah, I think he's just wearing like some like dirty underwear. Oh, nice. Oh, Tidy whitey. Like, think about a sad daddy. Like they're probably sitting around in their undies. They don't care who sees. They're a sad dad. Yeah. Here's something that you might want to work in. Maybe not. Origins is about the cult aspect of Silent Hill because there's, there's like sometimes it has to deal with the cult and sometimes it just has to deal with the fact that you are a garbage person, like in Silent Hill 2, which is all about being a garbage person. Uh, I play video it. games to escape reality, not <laughs> be confronted by it. So there's yeah, elements... I don't need a game to tell me I'm a garbage person. <laughs> I've got mirrors for that. He's going to have a, uh, a pentagram up here. Oh, good. nice. Oh, good. That's I think that's like, just a star. Uh, glowing. That's just a star. That's a pentagram. It's just a star in a circle, Isn't right? a pentagram upside down? Isn't, Isn't that it? what makes it a pentagram? Or is that a satanic pentagram? It I is, can't tell anymore. It is an upside down star. Because okay. it's like a goddess head. It yes. is like a goddess head. <laughs> Justin. Justin. You're I, right, dude. I Justin's a master of the occult. You guys, I am I do the I black love... magic. If I entered a town and they were like, you should really check out the church. And I'd be like, oh, okay. You know, churches have a lot of history of the towns. And what the hell is that dude doing in the front? And there's just this three-legged naked mole rat hat wearing thing holding a pentagram hey guys i'm sad daddy <laughs> oh beans <laughs> oh man oh it's another bad day for me <laughs> i'm here to read the church announcements there is a a car double parked in the parking lot uh it's if you a, drive a yellow chevy if you drive a yellow chevy it is getting towed right now so <laughs> you may want to go out oh i'm nuts that's my car oh wait yeah <laughs> oh dang it that's how he talks yeah God, those those little those little chesty bits you just added are Jake, just another level. Jacob of has to draw nips. Gross. I have to draw nips. It's become my character trait. <laughs> He's just gonna be saying, "Oh beans, oh beans, oh beans, oh, beans. Oh, beans. I, I, again. I hecked it up again with my son. <laughs> he had friends over, and I tripped down the stairs, and my butt <laughs> fell out." <laughs> Uh, 
yeah, so this is sad. This is sad, this is, Daddy. I think it's perfect. <laughs> he makes me oh, a happy dad. Says, don't go over to Travis's house. His dad falls out the stairs and exposes himself. <laughs> it happens every time. It happens and he... literally. It's like the first time I thought it was an accident, but I think he, I think he just does that. That's he's just how he walks it. down That's the stairs. He goes, he don't think he knows how to use the stairs. <laughs> he's got three legs. He does not know how to use them. My thought on this is Gaston survives the end of Beauty and the Beast, is weakened by his encounter, says, well, I need to get stronger so I can defeat the beast. <laughs> and the only way to do that is to eat more eggs. <laughs> <laughs> He's got one method of growing his strength, and it's been directly proportional to eggs consumed. <laughs> so I think that Gaston slowly searches out more and more, let's say, forbidden eggs. Oh, yeah. I would love to see Gaston <laughs> shambling out of a room just going, La Fou, forbidden egg. <laughs> right away, Gaston. <laughs> Do you think that the final most forbidden egg is La Fou himself? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yes. I think he probably infects La Fou with some sort of egg disease so that La Fou lays eggs himself. <laughs> Ew. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guess not what you do to me bud <laughs> you fight him in the tavern oh yeah it's filled with lefou's eggs it's filled with lefou's <laughs> eggs the townspeople are gone or consumed in the confusion and mass egg consumption just <laughs> blindly grabbing at everything and eating it egg egg not egg <laughs> egg egg <laughs> Oh, that's a real Dark Souls boss noise right there. <laughs> Do you think, is that maybe in Dark Souls 4, they introduced the egg mechanic, uh, and like, instead of humanity, you have eggs? Yeah, and you consume the egg, mm -hmm. and you become stronger, but you lose right. parts of yourself. Exactly. Your personhood. Delicious egg. <laughs> and you, the bonfires, of course, are where you scramble your eggs. Yeah. It's a bonfire with a little skillet <laughs> over the top. <laughs> that sounds really good. Do you think... All right, so LeFou has got to be in, in this picture, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that seems right. Mm -hmm. Caldwell, I do enjoy that you said lefou has got to be in here somewhere and then proceeded to draw legs. I like that he did that. Yeah, I was, uh, I was seeding the idea. I was getting people excited. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was getting LeFou Nation pumped up. <laughs> I know seeing LeFou is going to upset me. <laughs> so I can't mess with his face. His face is perfect. Yeah, yeah. he's already a monster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> this would be so funny to see in Dark Souls. <laughs> big eyed, big nose, <laughs> round character. <laughs> like one Thomas the Tank Engine. Uh... <laughs> one Thomas. Um, I haven't said it yet, but your Gaston is exceptionally good. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. It's got the vibe so well. I like that he's handing me an egg. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that's the way to cheese the boss. <laughs> you can just break his egg. <laughs> <laughs> he spends three full minutes mourning. <laughs> three hits. He just doesn't know any better anymore, you know? Do not touch egg. Appreciate egg. <gasps> you broke egg. But the thing is... If you do break egg, uh, you will activate LeFou. <laughs> <laughs> he comes rolling out like a ball and then just like unfolds. <laughs> uh, you are not far off, Julia. Yeah? <laughs> oh, no. We're on the same page here. Is he uh -oh. just like full up with egg? Uh -oh. <laughs> Is he with egg? I've predicted a grim future. <laughs> oh, this guy's definitely oh. with egg. Oh. oh. Yeah. We were not on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> you need more eggs, buddy? He turned oh, into a bug for gross. no reason. <laughs> LeFou, you didn't have to do this. There was no reason. Very good. So I think, like, yeah, like, big, big massive egg sack over here. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, quick question, y'all. Should it be pulsing? Yeah. Yeah. Jacob, you seem to know. You seem to know the most about Dark Souls. <laughs> should should the egg sack be pulsing, my friend? Yeah, if you're gonna have an egg sack, you may as well have it pulse. That's what I've always um, said. Very well. I just let the record show. I didn't want to make it pulse. 
This is going to get flagged by YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> We're already on thin ice. They're already <laughs> mad at us for the lick a tongue thumbnail. <laughs> they're going to email you and be like, what the heck? Didn't I just say? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not technically inappropriate, but look at it. <laughs> yeah. Tell me it's not. <laughs> it's not that I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I just hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Um, I do have one last question. Yes. Maybe you all can help me with this. Is I, I feel like Dark Souls bosses all have really good names. Oh yeah, totally. I feel like this one would have to be like Gaston, Gaston the True Beast. Gaston <laughs> the True Beast is pretty good. Oh. Mm -hmm. Gaston the Consumer of Egg. <laughs> <laughs> the Egg Lord. <laughs> egg Lord Gaston would also follow suit with with the naming conventions. <laughs> Could, do they ever do like a Latin name? Could you do like a Wovum Champion or something like that? <laughs> you definitely could, okay. but I, I don't like it though. <laughs> uh, I think the True Beast Gaston feels pretty good to me. Yeah, I love that. Egg Lord Gaston, the True Beast. There it is. Beautiful. <laughs> Does the beast even still live in this world or is Gaston <laughs> chasing a beast who's no longer there? I feel like that feels thematically... Correct. Oh, yeah. yeah. The beast is long gone and Gaston ha no longer has a purpose. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, it's the, the like hot prince version of the beast and Belle. And they like come out of their balcony and they're like, just get out of here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Scram. It's over, dude. Let it go. <laughs> She's with me now, dude. <laughs> You're being weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, did you embrace the old blood? Oh. Did you consume the old egg? <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> we told you not to. It's nasty. <laughs> you don't know where that egg's been, man. 